Hello everyone. Last Sunday, we gathered together to celebrate our Lord Jesus' entry into Jerusalem. We reflected on the time, place, occasion and the manner in which he had traveled to Jerusalem and the joyful welcome the people of Jerusalem gave him. Finally, you may remember, we were left with a question to ponder. Who is this? It is the same question the people were asking, perhaps in fear or in wonder, or in anger or in hatred, or in delight or in hope, as Jesus entered the holy city. When this question is personalized, it becomes the most important question a Christian asks and should ask and find answers to it. Who is Jesus Christ to you? In today's Gospel, John says, He loved his own in the world and he loved them to the end. That is to say, Jesus is someone who loves us to the end. His love is not a worldly love, but God's love. Worldly love involves a feeling of warmth deep affection, tenderness, and strong liking towards a person who arouses admiration or delight in us. In other words, someone loves the person because there is something desirable in the person or beneficial to be gained from him or her. There is always a reason why the person wants to love the other. Ultimately, Selfishness is at the center of worldly love, whereas God's love is spontaneous and unmotivated or uninfluenced and unconditional. It means that there is nothing in the person to attract or prompt love, yet God loves the person as he or she is. God loves us for who we are. All Jesus' actions fit into God's love, not worldly love. One of the most significant times Jesus displays God's love is during the Passover meal with his disciples. Today's Gospel narrates Jesus and his disciples' arrival in Jerusalem to find a room to celebrate the Passover, which for Jesus and his disciples is their last meal together. After the meal, Jesus does something most unexpected. He takes off his outer garment and wraps a towel around his waist. And having poured water into a bowl, he kneels down in front of his disciples and begins to wash their feet. This action of Jesus shocks his disciples. While it is a Jewish custom, to welcome guests into their house by providing a bowl of water for them to wash their own feet, not even the lowliest of servants would be expected to wash the feet of another person. But the Lord Jesus carries out the menial job of washing the feet of his disciples. His action reflects the image of his living heaven and taking the form of his servant. Then Jesus puts on his clothes again and asked, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so. If I, therefore, your master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. Jesus serves his disciples by performing the most humble of tasks and then gives them the commandment, you shall also wash one another's feet. That is to say, Jesus wants his disciples to imitate him. He wants them to follow his example 
and render the same kind of service to others. Friends, Jesus' commandment to his disciples to love and serve others as he did applies also to us. However, offering love and service to those who seem unworthy or socially beneath us may be hard and un uncomfortable for many of us. And yet, that is what Jesus wants us to do. There is a story of a man who was born with an awful facial deformity. He grew up alone and lonely in a village. When reaching adulthood, he decided to move to a town to begin a new life. On his way, he discovered a beautiful mask that fitted his face and made him look handsome. At first, the mask was uncomfortable and he was afraid that people would find out who he really was. But he continued to wear the mask every day. In his new hometown, he made many new friends. But one day, a wicked woman from his village came to this town and exposed this man's true identity. In front of his friends, she forced him to remove his mask. When he removed the mask, it revealed a handsome face. His face had conformed to the mask. Friends, becoming like Christ is similar to the experience of this man. If we put on Christ, at first we may find it difficult and unnatural or feel uncomfortable. For instance, loving, forgiving and helping someone who is disloyal betrays and deceives us, may be hard and uncomfortable in the beginning. But if every day we just keep putting on Christ and bear with pain and suffering, we will day by day grow to look more like Him. Amen. God bless you.